Today we'll be reviewing my only camera and my only lens, the Leica M2 with the Carl Zeiss 35mm f2.8 C Biogon lens and why I think you should probably buy the Leica M2 over say buying a Leica M6. Uh, first we'll probably just go over the features and its history. The M2 was made as a cheap alternative to the Leica M3 though the quality is really quite up to par. The M2 was manufactured between 1958 and 1967. My specific one was made in 1966. My one is one of the lay models, so it's a rewind lever instead of a button, and a self timer, and it has a non-guarded lens mount button. The film count on all the like M2s is a manual rotating dial instead of a resetting one on basically all the other Leica M's. It has a slow rewind lever which were replaced on all subsequent Leica M's though they did return with the modern Leica MPs and the Leica MAs. The Leica M2 does not come with a hot shoe and generally most M2's will come with proprietary flash sync uh, ports although mine has been replaced or might have came from a factory with normal PC PC sync ports. Uh, the finder also will generally come with a metal ring, though mine came with the uh, rubber rings. It has 0 0.72 magnification, which is quite standard on most Leicas. It has 35, 50, and 90 millimeter frame lines. And I think if you do buy a Leica, you'll probably only be shooting on a 35 of a 50 mil anyway. Though I do have to say that the 0 0.72 magnification is quite tight for glasses wearers. There's also a slight difference on the Leica M2 on how you load film into the camera. It has this take-up spool that you need to attach your film to before you put into the camera. So to put in the film, you just need to follow the instructions as seen with the graphic there. Remember to attach the sprockets to the lever there and you're ready to go. The lens I use on my Leica M2 is the Zeiss 35mm f2.8 C Biogon lens. I did used to have a 35mm colour scoper by Voigtlander, though I did find that it could be a bit soft wide open and when I was shooting colour I was never quite happy with the result on that lens. I really do think it's the best value for money 35mm lens you can buy an M mount right now. Now generally most people would recommend the Leica M6 as it does have a meter and 35mm frame lines and 50mm frame lines though I do think if you are on a budget I think the Leica M2 is one of the best bangs for buck that you can get as far as M mount goes. It doesn't have a light meter which unless you shoot slide isn't really a deal breaker for me I think. Uh, you can get apps, uh, light meter apps to meter in most conditions and if you're shooting one shot, one ISO like I do where I'm pushing uh, Ilford HP5 to 1600 you quickly get used to all the lighting situations and you can meter by eye quite easily after a while. I really don't think you should hesitate if you think the M2 is for you. The price difference between the Leica M2 and other Leica M bodies such as the M6 can be around a thousand dollars or so and I think that money would be better spent on film and developing instead. I guess before we end I'll show you some results on Agfa 400 and some Ilford HP5 that I've shot in the past.